There is one person in this world whose face is tight when it comes to Julian Assange. Julian made Obama look like the spy of the year. And for the most part, the U.S. been spying on Angela Merkel and other people before that. It's just that Obama got the back. <laughs> and he lost so much popularity, people don't care. They're like, get him, get Obama. I want my two votes back, but I digress. But here, Julian Assange flew into Australia and he said, no Boeing airplanes, please. If you can't give me anything than, than Boeing, then put me on a raft and I'll have a better chance getting back to Australia than Boeing, allegedly. But, okay, flew into Australia on Wednesday uh, 26, which was yesterday. Home after pleading guilty to violating U.S. espionage laws. Now, the U.S. had to get its lick. They did everything to get Julian Assange. Any and everything because they couldn't take that ill. You expose us, we're going to make you pay. And he been. And he'd been in a legal battle for 14 years, and they most definitely made him pay. He he left looking young, come back looking old. They stressed the mess out of him. So in historic in a historic moment, the WikiLeaks founder, then uh, let me see, he spent five years in a British jail. The U.S. wanted to make sure. Oh my goodness, wanted to make sure that he paid, and I have to say he did. Now, if you were to ask him and say, was all of this worth it? I don't know. Man, oh man, it seems like the progressives had a rough night and they did. Now, some... uh Candidates that Trump uh, endorsed, they made it through, and there were a few who didn't. So now, he is gaining popularity for many reasons because he is putting America first. Now, you hear me say that in many of my videos because he does. He's looking at the Constitution, whereas the Democrats are looking past the Constitution and looking towards democracy when the United States is not a democracy. But what Congress does and what they produce is democracy. And you're like, uh, politics for Laura, um, you just contradicted yourself. No, no, I did. The Constitution is a law of the land and the federal government and the laws what they produce is them that we in a democracy have to live by telling us how to be good human beings. But I have to say is that they went beyond what a good human being is to where you can alter being a human being. I mean, what's going on? It, it, it's a mess, but I'm going to leave it right there. Now, here. Tuesday's contest in Colorado, New York, uh, South Carolina, and Utah, the first incumbent House Democrats to lose the primary this cycle with several losses uh, for the Trump endorsed candidates. Now, when you say, now when, when they say Trump endorsed candidates lost, it doesn't mean that they lost to a Democrat. It means it means that they lost to another Republican. All right. Uh, the progressive wing of the Democratic Party suffered major blows when uh, Jamal Bowman of New York, Democrat of New York, lost to Winchester, Winchester County Executive George Lattimore. And wait a minute, isn't Jamal Bowman the guy or the representative that pulled the fire alarm? Isn't that him? Jamal. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Put something down in the chat. 
in one of the most tumultuous primaries so far. Now, this is just primaries. November still has to come. Okay. Meanwhile, Donald Trump's near perfect endorsement track record this cycle took a almost took a hit uh, almost everywhere while Lauren Boebert a political lightning rod all but ensured her survival uh in Congress this November and yeah she has been in the news I mean back and forth between Marjorie Taylor Green she taking Marjorie Taylor Green's homework and submitting it as her own I mean Look, Lauren, did you take her work in and forgot to erase your uh, uh, her name and put your name on there? Okay, that's not cool. But it goes on. So the New York lawmaker defeat was not a shock as a member of the House Progressive Squad who stirred controversy on several issues and generated unflattering headlines Bowman went into Tuesday primary facing a steep climb, but but his defeat is nonetheless a major setback for the progressive wing of the party who had made public vow a uh, public show to support the days and weeks leading up to the race. But it goes on. It goes on. But the blue wave. It may be st still water, maybe a little ripple, but many people are leaving the Democratic Party and they're going Republican for many reasons.